um, I suppose is open debate. I mean, it's the numbers seem right, and and it's based on uh, analytical work based on power uh, and standard error inflations. Now, some people might uh, feel like, is there any point in doing multiple regression in practice? I'm never going to get a thousand people in my sample. And I just want to address that issue in this last slide, is that um, in practice it's impossible to get those sample sizes realistically. So I see a lot of studies where the n is about 25. Is it completely pointless for people to do multiple regression analyses with a sample size of 25? On its own, probably. Uh, maybe it's an educational experience, uh, but it's probably not going to contribute much to the literature and, and provide any convincing uh, results. But that's not arguably the whole story. Hopefully one day somebody will conduct a meta-regression with the previously published studies. So many of these studies will not find significant results, or they might find one predictor that's significant when they should have found others. So long as they publish the correlation matrix associated with their independent variables and their dependent variable, one day somebody could come along and combine these studies, which all have low power, and combine them into one study, and that's called a meta-regression. You can combine correlation coefficients together across sample sizes and studies, which have used either identical or very similar measures, and you can do a meta-regression. And so that combines all the small studies, which individually are essentially useless, but together can form a larger, more powerful analysis. And if it's done properly, theoretically, it should give uh, more stable, more convincing results. So maybe it's not completely useless to do multiple regressions with the small sample sizes that you see in some studies of 25. Individually, however, it's probably not very informative. So that's addressing the question of uh, what sample size requirements you need for multiple regression. I hope you found that useful, and I'll catch you next time.